This is Aisho Speed, who is one of the biggest streamers in the world. And it is no question his favorite player is Cristiano Ronaldo. Zui. So for that reason, today I will be giving Aisho Speed Ronaldo's career to see if he can live up to the hype. And to make things interesting, I'll be giving Speed Zui. Ronaldo's overall and potential. But starting at season one, Speed is an 18-year-old wonder kid at Portuguese club Sporting Lisbon. And already being a wonder kid, Speed would break into the first team with ease, scoring five goals in his first season, showing signs he can become one of the greatest players in the world. And he would also receive a huge opportunity coming on as a substitute in a friendly against English club Manchester United. Speed would make the most of this opportunity and put his abilities at full display by scoring two goals and having an assist. And having this amazing performance at such a young age would make the English club have interest in signing Speed in the next transfer window. Which leads us into season two where Speed would accept the offer from Manchester United and sign for 15 million euros. But things would take a turn for the worst. In his first season with the club, Speed would find himself benched on many occasions because he would show up to training late due to the endless late night streams. But with the playing time he would receive, Speed would go on to score 10 goals, showing everyone that if he took football seriously, he could easily reach the top. But unfortunately, scoring goals would be the only success of this season because Manchester United would place out of the top five in the prime and put up horrific performances in both the FA Cup and the Champions League. Which meant that in season three, Speed would retire from streaming and train the whole offseason in order to solidify himself in the starting 11, and he did just that. Securing the starting 11 role helps me show the United fans what he was really made of by scoring 20 goals and having six assists. However, despite Speed having a great season individually, Manchester United would still get eliminated from the Champions League in the quarterfinals by none other than Lionel Messi in Barcelona. But Speed would also see a chance to win his first trophy in the FA Cup final in a penalty shootout against Manchester City. All right, a penalty shootout for Speed's first ever trophy. Bruno Fernandes will step up to take the first one. He usually doesn't miss penalties and we're slotting that home. Okay, Holland will take one for Man City and he misses. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no, no, what a save. That just went by so fast. Rashford will take the second one for Manchester United though and he slots it home. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. Okay, De Bruyne, De Bruyne. We need De Bruyne to miss so we can solidify it and he takes it home. Garnacho will take the third penalty for Manchester United to put us up 3-1 in the shootout. Garnacho, you cannot miss this. Let's go, Garnacho. Let's go. Okay, Bernardo Silva. He didn't have a good penalty in the Champions League, but he has it now. He has it now. Scott McTominay, man. I don't know how good you are at penalties, but we're going top right. Please go make it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, if Onana saves this, uh, Speed will win, and Ederson has a great penalty, man. It's just nothing we can do about it. All right, Speed will step up to take the penalty to win the FA Cup for himself and win his first ever trophy. Come on, Speed. You have Ronaldo's run up, Speed. Come on, man. Let's go, Speed. Let's go, Speed. Celebrate, man. Let's go. Come on, man. You just won your first ever trophy. And there, Bruno Fernandez is lifting Speed's first ever trophy of his career. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. Although Speed would win the first trophy of his career, on the other side of Europe, it would be Lionel Messi who would go on to win the Champions League, which we all know plays a huge role when it comes to the Ballon d'Or race. So this meant that Messi would go on to win the first Ballon d'Or of his career. And see, Season 4, Manchester United would make two massive changes. First, they would go on to sign Brazilian superstar Neymar Jr. for a transfer fee of 150 million euros. Then the second change they would make was giving Speed the green light to become the main man of the team in hopes of making a deep run in the Champions League. Speed would take this opportunity by storm and have his best season by far scoring 35 goals. And this performance alone would help Man U win their first Premier League trophy after their 11-year drought. They would also make a huge run in the Champions League, reaching the final where they would face off against Lionel Messi and Barcelona. And Speed would use the momentum that he already has to his advantage and he would create a chance early okay speed i see you dribble dribble Rajo. oh my god oh my god i still got it i still got it i still got it come on speed shoot come on speed let's go speed come on man let's go way to open it up early six minutes in is insane do the suey do the suey yes sir soon after speed's breakthrough barcelona would not go out without a fight and they would attempt to bring the game back level no 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 chill 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 Lewandowski. no no Lewandowski. no no what is that no there is no way he just dribbled through the entire team. He's like 35 years old. There's no way he should be doing that. After Barcelona brought the game back to level, Speed would see one more chance before the half, but he could not get past Ter Stegen. But coming straight out of halftime, Speed would see a great chance. Speed, I see you. Speed, I see you. Speed, I see you. Oh my God. Speed, come on, Speed. Let's go, Speed. Let's go. Put us up 2-1 in the final, man. Do the suey once again, man. Do it again. Let's go, Speed. Come on. Just as Manchester United thought they could get comfortable, Barcelona would show them why they made it to the Champions League final. No, 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 bro, no! 
did Joel Felix just take the ball from us like that and just level the game? Even though Barcelona would tie the game up once again, it would not matter because Speed would show us why he could easily become the best player in the world. Okay, Speed, look. I'm just gonna hit a power shot. Let's see if we make it. Oh my God, Speed. Oh my God, Speed. Speed, you are actually crazy right now. You have a hat trick in the UCL final. Just look at this goal by Speed. Look at the power on that ball. That is actually just insane. To keep things short, Manchester United would defend like their lives depended on it, and Barcelona would not see any more chances, which meant that this UCL final would come to a close. Yes, let's go! We just won the Champions League final, man! Let's go! Speed has won his first ever UCL trophy! There we go, Speed! Lift your first ever UCL trophy, man! You deserve it! You had a hat trick in the final, in your first ever final to say that, so hey, man, you deserve it, man! You deserve it! Although Speed would win his first UCL, the season would not end there. Due to his stellar performance, he would get called up to the Portuguese national Silly. team to captain them in the Euros. Using the momentum from the Champions League, Speed would help Portugal top their group by scoring five goals in the group stages. Portugal would also knock out England, Belgium, and Spain to reach the final where they would see themselves in a penalty shootout against France. All right, this is for the Euros. Can Speed win the Euros? And Mbappe slots his first penalty. I wasn't even ready for it. But look, man, Bruno Fernandes will step up to take the first one for Portugal, man. Let's see what he does. And let's go. He slots it home too, man. We'll take it. Let's go. Griezmann needs to miss here. If Griezmann misses, this will be perfect. And he did. Oh my gosh, the keeper saved it. Okay, this is going by so fast. One of Speed's best friends will take the penalty and he slots it home. We'll take it, man. Let's go. We're up 2-1. Okay, Usman Dembele. He has a crazy penalty run up. And oh my gosh, he slots it home too. Okay, Octavio, man. Octavio, we need this right here. We can go up 3-2. We can go up 3-2, Octavio. Yes. Okay, Rabio, Rabio. I don't know how good he is at penalties but oh i went that way and he still got it okay bernardo silver man you are not amazing at penalties but we're gonna go bottom left we're gonna go bottom left oh that went top left i mean we'll take it right here if kamavinga misses and he didn't miss never mind it just does it doesn't even matter now speed will step up to win the euros for his country will speed win the euros like ronaldo did we only have to find out by taking this kick come on speed no speed no speed no no speed no no speed no he missed after france would equalize in the penalty shootout both teams would go back and forth for the next four rounds up until it was time for portugal's goalkeeper to attempt to keep them in the game now our goalkeeper will step up to take it he cannot miss either we need you to make this come on let no he missed oh my gosh he missed no way oh my gosh speed lost the euros no i thought i made the penalty oh my gosh no this literally should be speed lifting the trophy right now now, this is insane, man. Literally, this is insane. Although Speed would lose the Euros, winning the Champions League and making it to the final of the Euros was just enough for Speed to win the first Ballon d'Or of his career, officially starting the greatest rivalry in football history. Fuck Fuck Messi! Messi! Fuck Messi! Fuck Messi! Messi! Going into Season 5, Speed would seek to have an even better season than before. And losing yeah. the Euros did not sit right with Speed, so he would tear up the Premier League by scoring a whopping 45 goals. He would also help Manchester United win the Prem once again and win the FA Cup as well. And this time around they would face Real Madrid led by Vinicius Jr. in the Champions League final for a chance to secure the first treble of his career. But things wouldn't start off good for Speed in Manchester United because Real Madrid would come out with their foot on the gas. No, 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 Vinny, no. No, Vinny, no, bro. Down 1-0 in the 14th minute, man, already? Come on, man. I don't know what to do about that. I seriously don't know what to do. Regardless of Real Madrid opening up the scoring early, this would not demotivate Speed at all and he'd see a chance to bring Manchester United back into the game speed i see you speed i see you i see you are you off sides oh my gosh he's not off sides hold on speed finish this let's go speed i don't know how you weren't off sides honestly that was a perfectly played ball by rashford though and just do the suey man you deserve it man let's go speed come on speed bringing the match back to level would only motivate him and manchester united to create more chances at goal but they could not seem to find the back of the net but in the 60th minute speed would finally prevail i'm gonna try my corner play out here with speed i'm gonna go to the top of the box with speed i'm gonna hit a power shot i'm gonna hit a power shot come on speed oh my god yo he actually just scored that oh my gosh just look at the speed and velocity of this ball right here look at it it just went top bins right over his head to keep things short once again real madrid would try to level up the game but they just couldn't but on the other end of the field it would be none other than i show speed who was seeking a hat trick in the ucl final
no. Hold on, I'm gonna hit a cross in the speed. Please don't be offsides. Let's go. He's not offsides. Come on, speed. Let's go. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. A hat trick in the UCL final Silly. once again, man. I'm not gonna lie, speed. You are living up to Ronaldo's expectations of being Mr. UCL. And that is it right there. Speed has won his second UCL. Let's go, speed. Come on. And there it is. Speed is lifting the Champions League trophy, and he has won his first treble of his career. With another great season meant that Speed would go on to win his second Ballon d'Or, and having a great UCL finals performance would make the Spanish Giants Real Madrid show interest in signing Speed in the next transfer window. So in season six, Speed would accept the offer and sign for a record transfer fee of 225 million euros. And with the help of Jude Bellingham, Vinicius Jr., and Rodrigo, Speed would put up a performance of a lifetime, banging 50 goals, winning the Golden Boot. He would also win La Liga and the Copa del Rey for the first time in his career. And doing all this in one season would give Speed just enough momentum to carry Real Madrid to the Champions League final, facing off against Lionel Messi and Barcelona once again. But this time, they would have a deadly trio consisting of Messi, Neymar, and Haaland. And to keep it short, sadly, this trio would outshine Real Madrid as a whole, bagging one goal each to ruin Speed's chances of winning his third UCL. But once again, the season would not end here, because Speed would solidify his spot and get caught up once again to the national team to captain Portugal in the World Cup. Filled with hunger, Speed would carry his nation in a flawless run, going undefeated in every round of the tournament, ultimately leading Portugal to the finals where Speed would seek revenge against his biggest rival, Lionel Messi in Argentina. And with Speed seeking revenge, he would try to open up the scoring early. Okay, I'm gonna surge down this wing with Rafael Leo. I'm gonna try to look for Speed. Oh my gosh, we are gone. I'm sweating it to Speed. Come on, Speed, get to that. Yes, yeah, Speed, finish. Come on, Speed, let's go. Up 1-0 in the World Cup final, and you're doing the Sui as well, man. Just stun on Messi, man. That kid has nothing on you, man. Let's go. Although Portugal would take the lead early, Messi's desire to win a trophy with his country would take over. Oh no, Messi, stop. Oh my God, Messi, stop. Messi, stop. No way, Messi, no. No way, Messi, what? Just look at this. Look at the turnover right there. And then he gets the ball back and then he shoots it. And somehow, like, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. At this point in the match, it was basically Speed versus Messi. Speed would create a chance for himself, but he would end up skying it. But sadly, in the 67th minute, Argentina would see a great chance at goal. No penalty, no penalty. Let's go, let's go. No, 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 no. We just let Messi's bodyguard score on us, bro. Oh, no. Come on, man. Messi's bodyguard scoring only did one thing, and that was motivate Speed to show everyone why he is the best player in the world. We need to equalize here. Speed, I see you, Speed. Speed, I see you. Come on, Speed. Let's go. Good equalizer, man. Good equalizer. Let's go. In the 85th minute. Oh, my gosh. He's doing Messi's celebration to him. Speed equalizing resulted into the game going into extra time. And during the extra time period, the only thing standing in the way of Speed was Emmy Martinez, but eventually Speed would find a way to get past him. I see you, Speed. Use your ball. Use your ball knowledge. Yes, yeah, Speed. Come on, Speed. Let's go. Let's go, Speed. Oh, my gosh. You just put Portugal up 3-2 to two in the World Cup, man. Ronaldo has never won a World Cup. Could Speed be the one to do it today? Portugal taking the lead meant that all they had to do was defend for a couple minutes, and they would be world champions. But having a hat trick in the UCL final was just not enough for Speed, so he would look to ice the game. Speed, can you put the nail in the coffin, Speed? Can you Put the nail in the coffin, Speed. Come on, Speed. Let's go. The nail in the coffin. Portugal win 4-2 in the World Cup final, man. Hit the sui on Messi, man. Hit it on him. Let's go. And that is it. Speed has officially won the World Cup with Portugal, man. Something Ronaldo could not do. And there Speed is lifting up the World Cup trophy for himself in Portugal, man. This is kind of awkward for me to see, but hey, man, we'll take it. Although Speed would not win the UCL this season, his performances in the World Cup was just just enough to help him win his third Ballon d'Or, helping him take the lead in the rivalry and setting it at 3-1. to one. Which leads us into Season 7, where Speed would seek to deliver Real Madrid their first Champions League trophy since his arrival. However, something major would happen. In the group stages of the Champions League, Speed would take a huge blow and be declared injured and out for the rest of the season. This would kill all hopes of Real Madrid winning the Champions League, and they would go on to get eliminated in the quarterfinals. But as for the Champions of Europe, it would be no other than Lionel Messi and Barcelona, which ultimately led Messi to win his second Ballon d'Or, which now now sets the rivalry between him and Speed at 3-2. With all that being said, in Season 8, Real Madrid will go on to sign French superstar Kylian Mbappe due to Vinicius Jr.'s departure, a 
and in hopes of ending their UCL drought. Speedo also recovered from the injury and reached the top of his footballing ability, scoring 57 goals and winning every Spanish trophy possible. But this would not matter one bit because the media would give Mbappe all the attention despite him only scoring 38 goals in his debut season. Although there would be tension amongst the Real Madrid squad, they would put it all to the side and reach the Champions League final, facing off against Cristiano Ronaldo's Bayern Munich. And with speed at the top of his footballing abilities, he would strike early. Okay, I'm gonna give it to speed here. I'm gonna do some little skill moves, but I'm running past them. Shoot that speed. Come on. Oh my gosh. Speed. Come on. After that chance, not much would happen due to the teams being evenly matched. But straight out of halftime, speed would do this. Straight out the second half, speed. Come on. We need you to make a run here. Make a run. Make a run. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Speed. Go. Go, speed. Shoot, speed. Come on, speed. Oh my gosh. You hit the crossbar. Either speed was fatigued early or he forgot his finishing boots back in Ohio because he was missing chance after chance. But finally, he decided it was time to put one away. You're through now, Speed. Come on, Speed. Come on, Speed. Come on, Speed. Let's go. Come on, Speed. Let's go, man. Finally. You finally put away one of your chances and you're doing the suey on Ronaldo now? This guy has no shame. Oh, my gosh. Even though Speed would find the back of the net, Ronaldo would show Speed why to never taunt him. Oh, my God. Ronaldo's through on goal. No, Ronaldo. No, Ronaldo. Stop it. Oh, no, man. Oh, my gosh. This is what you get, Speed. You try to taunt Ronaldo and this is what you get. To sum this matchup, nothing would happen after Ronaldo's equalizer. The match would end in full time with the score of 1-1, but immediately out of extra time, Speed would find some motivation. Speed, straight out of the second half extra time. I need you to go on a run here. I need you to go on a run, Speed. Come on, Speed. Let's go. I don't know how you just scored that, how you just ran through everybody. I don't know why nobody tackled you, but hey, man, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. And that is game time. Speed has officially won his third UCL, man. He has finally delivered Real Madrid a Champions League upon his arrival. This is officially Speed's third UCL title, man. He deserves it. He had a brace in the UCL final. Although Speed would win the third UCL of his career, he would come up short to his teammate, Kylian Mbappe, who would go on to win the Ballon d'Or. And this would anger Speed due to him having a way better season on an individual standpoint. So this meant that he would come out in the media and request a transfer. This meant that in Season 9, Speed would make a last-minute transfer and join Italian Giants Juventus FC. However, there was a major problem. Due to Juventus having a bad stretch of seasons prior to Speed's arrival, meant that he would miss out on playing Champions League football this season. And knowing this information, Speed would put Juventus on his back to help them qualify for next year's Champions League. However, missing out on a major trophy like the Champions League can really hurt your chances at the Ballon d'Or, which led to Lionel Messi winning the third Ballon d'Or of his career, setting the rivalry even at 3-3. But shockingly, in Season 10, Speed would do something very controversial. He would ditch Juventus after only playing there for one season and return back to where it all started, which was English club Manchester United, where he would see himself teamed up with their prime Speed! Cristiano Ronaldo. These two would go on to create one of the greatest duels in football history, running through the Premier League, scoring goal after goal after goal. However, Manchester United's manager Eric Ten Hag would become jealous of the two because he did not want Speed and Ronaldo to think they were bigger than the club. But instead of benching both players, Ten Hag would bench Speed due to him getting older in age. And Speed would not like this at all because all he wanted to do was play football with his best friend Ronaldo. So he would come out in the press and claim he felt betrayed by the club, which ultimately led to the Manchester United board to terminate his contract. Due to Speed getting older and nearing the end of his professional career, not many European clubs wanted to sign him due to the high wages he was demanding. But in the end, Speed would sign for Saudi Arabian club Al Nassar for a record transfer fee of 600 million euros. Speed would settle down and score a ton of goals in the Saudi league, but it wouldn't get overlooked due to the lack of competition in Saudi Arabia. But it is safe to say, if Speed was given Ronaldo's career and potential, he would have a pretty successful career, winning a grand total of three UCL titles and three Ballon d'Ors. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're on this road to 10,000 subscribers. And if you would like to see what would happen if Ronaldo changed teams every season, click the video on your screen.